Hello everyone, today's menu will be Cobb Chicken Sandwich. It's light and refreshing and it's perfect for a summer gathering potluck. So if you're ready, let's get cooking. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Here I have two large chicken breasts that I'm just going to season it with salt, black pepper, And then here I have garlic powder and cayenne pepper. And you just want to use half of it. And then we're going to flip it to the other side and do the same thing. You want to add some salt, black pepper, and some of the garlic and cayenne pepper. And then here, my two quart casserole dish. Um, I already sprayed some of the oil. And then I'm just going to place the chicken breast flat and then we're going to bake them in the oven. In my small pot, I'm going to place three large eggs and then I'm going to pour in some water and covering the eggs and then turn on the stove to medium high. You'll want to cook them for about 20 to 25 minutes and then rinse it under cold water before peeling. With a baking sheet lined with foil, I'm going to place the bacons and bake them for 15 minutes. You can cook them on the stove if you prefer. I just prefer baking them because it's less mess. Here I have three green onions that I'm just going to cut it in half and then I'm just going to chop them into smaller pieces. If you like, you can go ahead and use regular onions, but green onions give it much of a better flavor. Here I have baby tomatoes that I'm just cutting it into half. If you like, you can cut them a little smaller, but I like to have it chunky when I bite into it. The chicken is finally finished baking. Let it rest for about 10 minutes. After a couple minutes, it's ready to be shredded. This is my little secret. I use a handheld mixture to do the job. It saved me a whole lot of time. But of course, if you do not have one, you can go ahead and use your hands. The bacons are cooked and I'm just going to chop it into crumbs. After the eggs have been sitting in some cold water for a good couple minutes, I'm just going to crack on the side and work with it slowly to peel off the shell. It will come right off. Here, I'm just cutting up the eggs into smaller pieces. You can cut them as big or as little as you like. Here, I have one avocado that I'm just going to scoop it out with a spoon. And then after that, I'm just going to cut it into smaller pieces. In my large bowl, I'm going to toss in the sour cream and then some good quality mayonnaise and then some heavy cream and then a splash of Worcestershire sauce and then a sprinkle of salt and sprinkle of black pepper. Then we're just going to give that nice whisk to combine well. And then we're going to toss in the blue cheese along with the green onions and the tomatoes and the shredded chicken along with the bacon. And then we're just going to give it a nice toss to combine well. This will take a minute or two. 
and then gonna toss in the eggs along with the avocado and then after that we're just going to give it a nice mix to combine everything well all right now you want to cover it with saran wrap or foil and put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes to an hour before enjoying it here is the end results of the cob chicken sandwich i hope you'll give this a try the measurements are in the description box down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will get my latest videos bye